Today, I'm going to be erasing Dak Prescott's stats all the way down to a zero overall. And for every touchdown he scores, it's 100 points to spend on upgrades. And the goal is to get him all the way up to a 99 overall. But I mean, for now, at least to start things off, as you guys can see, Dak Prescott is a 12 overall. I mean, you guys already know this. I've said this like a million times. You can't actually go all the way down to zero. So that's the best that you're going to get. But I mean, so far this season, it seems like Dak is having his best season yet i mean the guys in the mvp race he definitely cleaned up his interception issue but now that he's a zero overall i don't think he's going to be doing a whole lot today but it looks like we got to play the new york giants in week one but anyways i mean i guess it's time for the moment that everyone has been waiting for i just want to get this done and over with because i already know nothing is gonna come out of this okay actually somehow we're gonna get a first down on the first play of the game i was expecting dak to throw an absolute brick to start things off but somehow we had a perfect pass right to CD Lamb. I'm going to put in the air again after that. And once again, that's another perfect pass from Dak. I can't lie, man. I mean, I'm actually surprised that he's hitting dots right now. Because when I do these videos, they usually just throw bricks for the first couple of games. But so far, Dak has been perfect today. I mean, there's another one. Bro, what is going on right now? I mean, we're actually having a solid drive to start things off. I mean, keep in mind, he is a zero overall right now. So he should not be playing as good as he is. And we're gonna break away with tony pollard i'm gonna try and go for a shot here i mean this should really test out his arm today because if he's a zero overall and he makes this pass i am actually gonna be amazed oh there we go that's the first brick of the game i mean to be fair though even though that was incompleted he actually perfectly timed that pass so i mean i don't know what's going on there we go okay there's another one i mean it looks like our good luck might have just ran out because now it's third and ten i'm gonna try and go for cooks here but honestly i have a feeling this is probably gonna get shut down never mind because Dak's gonna throw another dot out of all of the zero overall videos i've done so far i mean Dak has by far been the best zero overall performer of all time come on okay i might have just jinxed myself because now it's third down once again so i mean if we can't get 11 yards here we're gonna do all of this just to kick a field goal which would really suck we're getting sacked well i mean that was kind of a giant waste of time i thought Dak was gonna have a super Super impressive first drive the way he was playing but apparently we're gonna get held to a field goal giants did score after that too but again i mean we also held them to a field goal i'd say we're kind of catching a break with the schedule here considering new york's the first team we have to see i'm gonna try and go for a shot of schoonmaker here though i mean i really hope we didn't just use all of our good plays on that first drive that's another pretty good pass one thing i learned though i mean i can't really do quick passes like i have to do lobs or else it's gonna be a brick kind of like that even though we still got there that's that's a huge play. I'm going for it again because, I mean, honestly, there's not a whole lot of plays that I can run that we can actually keep the ball in the air for enough time where the receiver has a chance to get to it. It's seen Oh, hold on. That might be it. No way. It's all or nothing right here because I'm running the exact same play again. I mean, fourth and 10. So if this doesn't work, we did all of this for no reason. Come on, please catch that. Please catch that. We got the feed in. Let's go. So we're finally going to get our first touchdown of the game with Dak. I mean, I was kind of getting nervous there because it seems like once we get to the red zone, we cannot throw the ball whatsoever. But I mean, this time we converted off fourth down. So that's going to give us the lead. After that, though, we held the Giants to a field goal. So we're still up by four points. I mean, we only have like a minute and 30 seconds before halftime. That's a huge play. Let's go. I kind of got to be careful here, though, because I mean, we only have like a minute to work with. We do have have two timeouts though so i mean i should probably use those at some point oh that's a terrible pass but cooks is gonna get there i mean some of these passes that are just terrible it seems like they're so bad that the defender doesn't even know how to react to it and then our wide receiver gets to it first so hopefully that can keep happening that's another bad one i mean again for some reason it seems like we play good for the whole drive and then when we get to the red zone it's just a totally different story i mean that's going to be really close again. That might be picked off. That's not what I wanted. Come on, bro. What are we doing right now? I don't know what happened in between the meantime of this drive and that last drive where I threw the first pick of the game. But since then, while I was simming, Dak Prescott has thrown seven interceptions today, which is actually insane. And now it's fourth down. So we desperately need somebody to get open for a first. I mean, if we can get one more touchdown today, I'm going to be happy. Even though, I mean, two touchdowns to... Oh, thank you. That's a big... Play. two touchdowns to seven interceptions is not a good ratio i mean after one game it's starting to look like we're probably not going to be in the mvp race this year please get there 
We just got so lucky on that last play. There's nothing else to it. That was pass interference, so that's going to keep the drive alive. We are out of timeouts, which is kind of alarming. That's game. Okay. I thought we might be able to do something, but apparently that's how we're going to end things off. So we're going to take a fat L in the first game of the season, 31 to 10. I mean, we started off pretty strong. I thought Dak was actually going to go off today, but the guy threw eight interceptions in the second half. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's got to be a record. I mean, we do at least have a hundred points to spend on upgrades, even though I really don't think it's going to do a whole lot. I mean, honestly, I'd say our best bet is just to go ahead and max out medium throw accuracy and obviously after just one upgrade Dak is still a 12 overall I mean we've made no progress whatsoever so far I mean I'm just hoping that upgrade can make a tiny bit of a difference but I mean in week two we got to play the New York Jets I mean considering we had problems against the Giants defense I don't even want to imagine what's gonna happen today I mean playing against Sauce Gardner is probably gonna be an absolute nightmare to deal with I mean my plan for this one is just not to throw the ball in his direction whatsoever Whatsoever. Hopefully, okay, there's a sack. I mean, as you can see, Aaron Rodgers has scored three times since then. I mean, I knew we were going to get off to a slow start, but we got shut out in the first half, and we're also down by 17 points now, so things are not looking good. There we go. Tony Pollard's finally going to get the biggest play of the game. Honestly, okay, I'll take it. That brings it all the way to the 30. So after one massive 48-yard run from Tony Pollard, we're finally set up. I mean, this is the best chance we've had all game. So I gotta make sure we get something done here. I mean, that's another decent catch. I mean, the way things are going right now, we're gonna be lucky if we can even score a touchdown today because it's really looking like we actually might just get shut out. Please catch that. Oh, that's still not a first. I have to go for it on fourth down. Because, I mean, if we don't score here, we're pretty much screwed. The game's basically on the line in this play right here. So, I need something to work. Oh, my God. He dropped it. I actually have no words for that performance. We lost 37 to nothing. And I also want to go ahead and point out that in just two games, Dak Prescott has thrown 11 interceptions. I don't think we could have possibly gotten off to a worse start to the season. But, I mean, it looks like we have to play the cardinals in week three so i'm hoping this will be a little bit of a break for us i mean we're already down six nothing to start this game off i'm just gonna try and use and abuse cd lamb because i mean he's kind of our last hope at winning this game actually pollard's wide open he dropped the ball i don't know man i mean nothing has gone right for us so far i mean it seems like it doesn't matter what we do we just can't catch a break man Please tell me that's going to work out. That's going to be intercepted. Okay, we're already off to a terrible start in a game that we need to win. I'm just happy that the Cardinals aren't anything special. Because, I mean, it seems like every drive so far, we've held them to a field goal. So, we're only down 9-0. Okay, that actually might be a big break that we desperately needed. CD Lamb is still going. Please don't get caught. I was really hoping we could have brought that all the way there, but I mean, I'll take it. 33 yards to go, and we're actually in the end zone, and we desperately need to score here, because as I said, this is a game that we really need to win. Okay, we're actually set up. So, I mean, just like that, four yards to go, and we're actually in the end zone for a touchdown, even though I have a feeling we're probably going to find a way to mess this up. No way he actually throws a dot. That's a touchdown. So we're finally going to get an end zone for the first time in two games. I mean, that's a bit of a relief, but we're still losing. And unfortunately, after that, Kyler Murray finally scored a touchdown. So now we're down 16 to 7. I don't know if we're going to be able to win. Oh. Dude, that's huge. That's huge. That's going to be another touchdown from CD Lamb. Let's go. Okay. I mean, it seems like we're actually finally starting to get going. I'm not sure how he threw the ball that far, considering his throwing power is at a zero, but I'm just not going to question it because that's another touchdown. I mean, it seems like the Cardinals are kind of on one today. They scored again, so now we're down 23 to 14, but then we gave the ball up and our defense got an interception, which is something they have not been able to do at all this season. Please work out. I gotta call a timeout i mean surprisingly things actually aren't looking too bad for once we have a chance to get our third touchdown of the game here oh it's a brick i mean i kind of got to be careful here though because i mean we only have 18 seconds on the clock and we also only have one timeout we're getting sacked okay i mean just like that it's either something or nothing here we have one more chance to try and punch this in i mean we need nine yards 
CD Lamb, please, bro. Don't get caught. Let's go. That's going to be a touchdown. I thought we were going to get stopped, but thankfully, CD Lamb's going to clutch up and get in the end zone. So, I mean, surprisingly enough, we're actually still in this game. Cardinals kicked another field goal, though, but I mean, if we can get a touchdown here, we are going to surprisingly have our first lead of the season. I probably shouldn't have thrown that, but it's going to work out anyways. Cardinals did bring up a third down after that, though. So, I mean, I really need this play to work. I mean, come on, bro. I'm just going to try and go first. No way. Is that really how things are going to end today? I mean, we were actually playing really well until that, and that's going to be a touchdown, too. That's probably going to end things. So, I mean, we're going to get hit with another very disappointing loss. 43 to 29 the final, so we're going to be falling to 0-3 on the season. At this point, I think our playoff hopes might be far gone. I mean, even though we got cooked, we still have 300 points to spend on upgrades, and we desperately need some upgrades right now. So, I mean, first thing I'm going to go ahead and max out is deep throw accuracy and then i'm also gonna max out our throwing power and then i mean the last upgrade i should probably max out throw under pressure i mean somehow after just a few upgrades dak prescott has gone all the way up to a 70 overall i mean we're actually finally starting to see some progression here it seems like if you pick the right upgrades it will max your overall out after that though dak should be pretty decent so we sim to week five as you can see we're going to be playing the 49ers and we're also one in three so i mean it looks like we finally got a win of course, it happens when I was simming, but I mean, it was against the Patriots, so that's really not that big of an accomplishment. We also start with the ball here, which is nice. I mean, this defense is going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with, but I mean, if we can somehow manage to win this game, we should be right back in the playoff race. I mean, obviously, no question about it, though. This is probably going to be our toughest matchup of the season. That's a first down to keep the drive alive. I mean, honestly, I'm already noticing some massive improvements with the upgrades we added. I mean, obviously, we still can't run the football or anything like that because our speed and acceleration is still at a zero and that play is going to bring up another third down i'm just going to go for brandon cooks i'm putting all of my trust in his hands right now which i probably shouldn't do because this play has been 50 50 today but it looks like we're going to throw an absolute dot and we have some open field so that's a touchdown honestly i'm surprised that worked out i thought we were going to get shut down once again because i mean this defense is no joke but, but surprisingly we're going to get in the end zone so that's going to give us the the lead first after that i mean the niners scored which really isn't surprising but i mean our defense forced a fumble so we have great field position once again hopefully we can capitalize here that is a terrible pass i feel like cd lamb is probably my best option at this point he's open too and we have open field again that's gonna be another touchdown from dak i mean honestly i can't believe the defense folded there i mean i'm really surprised there was no one in the backfield that should have probably only worked out for like 10 15 yards but instead that's gonna give us the lead back with another touchdown but as you can see we are down by one point in the fourth quarter i mean if we can get in the field goal position we actually have a chance to win this game our defense is actually playing pretty well so far today that's a decent pickup from lamb i mean the niners brought up a fourth down after that though so i mean we really need a play here it's something or nothing if this works out the game's alive if not it's gonna be over and that's gonna do it i mean we came close to winning this game but we were just in such a bad situation to end things off so we're gonna lose to the 49ers even though we only lost by one point i mean that is kind of a gut punch right there with the 200 points we have to spend on upgrades i'm gonna go ahead and max out short throw accuracy and then i'm also gonna max out awareness because that has obviously been a huge issue and after all of those upgrades prescott has gone all the way up to a 93 overall so i'd say one more solid game and we should hit a 99 but after that, I mean, since one more game should basically do it, I wanted to end things off with a bang. So we sim to week 14. As you can see, we're going to be playing the Eagles and we're also seven and five. So it looks like we actually went on a really solid run after the last game, which could potentially keep our playoff hopes alive. With that being said, though, I mean, this is the game that we desperately need to win. We did stop the Eagles on the first drive of the game. So hopefully we can score and take the lead here. That actually wasn't a terrible run 
from Pollard, but I don't think I'm going to be able to count on the run game working all game, especially against a defense like this. That was a ginormous play from Cooks, though. I mean, I got to be careful, though, because I mean, if I make one wrong move, I'm probably going to throw an interception. I mean, this defense is just absolutely loaded. There's nothing else to it. The biggest threat is obviously going to be Darius Slay, so I'm just going to try and throw the ball in the opposite direction of him every time, and hopefully that will be enough to get a touchdown. I don't think I even need to say this, but if I throw it in his direction, there's like a 90% chance that he's going to get an interception. Oh, uh, Cooks is going to be open here. That's going to be a touchdown. Come on, stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. We're in. Let's go. So that's going to give the lead to the Cowboys first here. I mean, that was honestly a pretty solid drive to start this game off. But we're back out here in the third quarter. And surprisingly enough, we actually have the lead right now. And since we forced a fumble, if we can score here with the great field position we have, we're going to have a two score lead, which would actually be ginormous for us right now. Because as I said, this is kind of a must win game to keep our play playoff hopes alive cd lamb's gonna be wide open that's a first i mean if we can score i wouldn't say it's necessarily gonna be a put away drive or anything but it should really help out our case cooks might work oh dude cooks is open again that's gonna be his second touchdown of the game to give us a two score lead so that touchdown is gonna be a big one for us i mean there's still a whole quarter to play so i wouldn't say that would put the game away yet but things are definitely looking good for us the eagles did score again after that though so i just want to play it safe and try and get one more touchdown if we score here i think at this point in the game now we can call it a put away drive we haven't really done anything with the deep ball yet i totally forgot they have kevin Byer, so this might burn me please that's actually looking good that is a dot let's go so just like that we have crazy field position if we score here again i mean that should probably put things away i do need to be careful though because i mean one wrong move and they'll probably get an interception but cd lamb is gonna get in for the touchdown and that's gonna give us a two score lead with three minutes on the clock which should honestly put this game to rest and as you can see it looks like it's going to so we're gonna get a huge upset win over to eagles which should keep our playoff hopes alive but anyways we got 300 points to spend now so i mean i'm gonna spend 50 on acceleration and the other 50 is gonna go towards speed and then with the last 200 points i'm gonna go ahead and max out throw on the run and i'm also gonna max out break sack and after all of those upgrades our boy dak prescott has finally gone all the way up to a 99 overall so after that i mean i'd say our work here is done and since we have an eight and five record i mean i'd say there's a 50 50 chance that we make the playoffs this year and as you can see we're going to end off the season going 11 and 6 which does put us in the playoffs we got to play the packers in the wild card round and it looks like we're going to sneak away with the win so now we play the eagles in the divisional round but unfortunately that's where our playoff run is going to come to an end because we got absolutely slaughtered i mean yes that's definitely a tough way to end off the season but with the start we had i mean honestly i think we're lucky that we even made it to the playoffs let alone the fact that we got a win but as you can see looks like patty mahomes is going to be winning mvp this season and to end things off it looks like jalen hurts is finally going to get himself a super bowl ring with the win over the jaguars but anyways that's going to do it for this one if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it'll really help out the channel and if you have any video ideas feel free to drop them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and while you're down there comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comments section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out